crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and today I have a little start to finish video for you. I have made two happy birthday cards using some watercolors. Now I did a little tutorial about how to make your own watercolor paints using perfect pearls and you can click the box in the corner to see that. But I wanted to show you kind of over my shoulder um, how I just put some paint down and did some die cutting to make these fun cards. So I think the first thing you should know is that I'm using a middle weight watercolor paper here and uh, it's dry so that the paint kind of stays in little puddles in which I put it. So that's a good thing to know. But you know, just be free and let the watercolors mix and meld. It's kind of what makes it fun. So in addition to doing the center section, I also did a couple of papers like this where it's just like the entire background. And I'm gonna use that for the background so you'll see that soon. So after that was dry, I did um, spritz it with a little bit of water so that you get those pretty little drips and drops. I think that's a lot of fun and I just wanted to show you that up close. But make sure you let your watercolor paper dry and then press it in a book so it's nice and flat so that you can move on to the next step. So after I got done uh, with it drying, I went ahead and die cut it using this um, great little birthday die. And next up I'm going to be doing the inlaid die cutting technique and again you can click the box in the corner and uh, see the tutorial that in slow motion or in regular motion so you don't have to try and keep up with it here. But I wanted to let you know that yes I die cut the birthday sentiment both in the watercolor paper and then again just in the white. Make sure you save all those little bits. Uh, it's good to put down a manila folder so you've got them all kind of corralled. So my favorite technique is to use a little bit of this um, score tape on the back. It makes it sticky so that as you're laying in your die cuts they just stick right down. And then you can go with a little piece of tweezers or an awl and just gently nudge in all of those background pieces right back where they belong. So it really, people think that um, maybe I used a resist technique. I did not. Um, it really is that inlaid die cutting, which I think is just so phenomenal. So next I'm gonna go ahead and kind of layer up this card and I'm using my ATG to assemble everything. And I'm using the piece of paper that I painted the entire background. But you can see I cut out the center area because I feel like I can use that for something else. So you'll see that in another card or something even later on. Uh, and then next I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the second card using the white paper. And you'll see it's the exact same technique as I did the last time. Uh, I'm just doing it in reverse. And, and I love this because now I can actually sit down, run that die cutting machine twice, but actually, you know, get two cards out of it. So um, you'll see it's the exact same technique. It's a little time consuming, but in, in its own way, it's actually kind of meditative to put the puzzle back together. Now we're just doing the finishing touches. I have these happy birthday stickers so I just cut it apart so I could use the happy part and burnishing it down. And now I'm going to actually stamp happy onto this other one. Um, and as you can see I made a mistake but yay for see-through stamps because I can just go over it and do it again. Hooray! And uh, I think sometimes a few little three-dimensional embellishments are really key to these kind of cards. A few sequins, a little button, just something to kind of finish it off. Um, by the way, I am using the Ranger, Ranger uh, Glossy Accents to keep all of my little sequins on. I found that it really, really works well for me. I don't know what magic stuff that is, but it holds sequins on like a ding-dong. So there you have it, two cards in about 20 minutes time. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and as always, have a crafty day.